satisfied smile of a mother reflects across the drops of blood oozing from the thighs of her daughter. She has set her up for a good life and cured her of carnality. But has she? Sadly, like 200 million girls, the only life her daughter will know will be that of grief, obduration, objectivity, and disease. Studies show that in a room with 10 Nigerian women, two of them have experienced genital mutilation. That is, two in 10 have had their dreams sliced open, leaving jagged wounds that fester under forced smiles and societal silence. Will you help us turn the tide? Will you help us raise the murmurs from the shadows into a voice that roars above the mountains? NFGM, 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 now. No longer content with the charades, daughters rise, their spirits stitched back together with knowledge and education. The knife, once a symbol of control, falls from trembling hands as knowledge becomes a new weapon. In classes, futures are rewritten, lives are changed. Two in ten will shrink, generation by generation, until it becomes a mere echo in the annals of barbaric history. I say it again, two in ten will shrink, generation by generation, until it becomes a mere echo in the annals of barbaric history. Let the teachers teach, let the preachers preach, let the legislators make laws to end FGM and end it now. <laughs>